probably one of the most radical things I'm suggesting in this book is that there are multiple genders, at least 10. And some of them have genetic roots, some of them have social roots, there's intersection, but these multiple genders are co-evolved aspects of humans within culture. In other words, we need this diversity of genders in order to do the work because we need all these different minds and all these different understandings. So I've organized these into guilds, specialty guilds, and I call them gender focused but not gender exclusive. So for example, the mothers, which is the herbalist guild. Okay, so it's a women's guild. It's, and that's in many cultures. And the mothers are in charge of burning, of cultural fire, because they're tending the understory. The seeds, the medicinals, the, the process of the seasons, and the first guild to go through a proposed forestry work area are the mothers because they want to do the gleaning or sometimes it's called high grading, which is a logging term, but I think it's useful here. They want to look at what's going on and they want to communicate through drainage basin councils which have delegates from all the other guilds. And we come together and we work out the four S's. Sequence, staging, sorting, and stashing, which is the essence of our process of social forestry. The landscape, the forest, can provide all our needs if we simplify. We don't need plastic, but oh my gosh, is it hard for me to compete with the plastic bucket. <laughs> Cooperage is one of the guilds. It's in the Bodgers Guild. I'm a ranger. I'm an intersexual, which is not a transsexual. It's an intersexual. I'm an in-between. I can, I'm welcome in all councils. And I have Martham's syndrome. Long legs, long arms, tiny torso. Okay? Makes, yeah, duh. <laughs> makes, <laughs> makes a good ranger cover a lot of ground, very low hormones. So it's like, what are all these people all bothered about? I, I think I'll take a walk. So that's the rangers. Okay. Then there's the sawyers. They get shit done. And they build stuff. And they're really, oh man, we need those sawyers. So sawyers, bodgers, charcoaliers, coopers, um, the you know herbalists. What else? What else am I missing here? I was trying to follow it. Yeah, yeah. That's, so there's a bunch of these different guilds, and the guild collection will be different on different landscapes because there's different work to be done, and you've got different conditions. <clears throat> so that's that suggestion about learning to honor gender differences and understand how complex it is. In other words, beyond our understanding. How, how wide this is and how inclusive it is is a really valuable tool for us to be able to come together in a consensus 
and have clear clarity about the tasks and the four S's, the sequence, the staging, the sorting, and the stashing. It's very difficult in forestry to do multiple products. It requires brokerage, and brokers take the most off the top. They're the major skimmers. So when you are, when you are looking at, at single products, you're doing extraction. That's called commodities extraction. When you're looking at multiple products, it can't be marketed, but it supports culture. So multiple products are used locally. And the only way that cultures go through big changes in ecosystems or cycles of conditions is through warehousing. And what are we doing now in a consumer society? Just-in-time inventory, overextended supply lines. What? So... There's a bunch of clues, okay? I just like hit you with this stuff. So I'm gonna take a deep breath and take a piece of water um, and I'm hoping I'm going to get to talk about Salon. In fact, I'll talk about Salon next and then that'll set the stage for questions.